we've been running a bunch of different kind of stuff and so this drill is basically going to be focusing on moving and shooting okay because you've seen in, in some of my drills basically i'll run up and i'll shoot and i'll take a knee or i'll, I'll stop and i'll shoot well sometimes you don't have the luxury of stopping sometimes whatever it might be you got you got to keep moving okay for whatever reason that might be there's a million reasons and a million answers for every reason so basically what we're going to do i'm going to turn you around here hopefully the sun isn't directly into your eyeballs and let's see basically this is what we got it's kind of the same setup we've had before you might be able to see the three blue targets um, on the lower area okay and those are set at 25 yard increments off to the left of those in between them there are two other targets okay and those are probably only like 15 12 to 15 yards from the blue targets so the idea the idea is basically going to be you have to move the whole time you can't stop to shoot all right and we've got one two three four five six seven eight we got eight targets okay basically they're all set at 10 the what well, let me back up the first five are set up at about 15 yard increments okay they're kind of offset from each other all right and then we have the gong which you've probably seen in other videos it's at 100 yards from here okay so at the furthest target that we have of these five this is getting real complicated real fast it's not, not really that complicated if you're here you can see what i'm saying it's at 25 yards from the from the furthest blue target that i have to the 100 yard okay that's 25 yards okay from that 100 yard there's the blue silhouette target in the stand, the one we've had for a long time that we've shot a lot. That is about 24 to 25 yards from that 100 yard target, okay? So the furthest target from here is at 124 to 125 yards, okay? The idea is I have five rounds in my mag. I have five rounds in all these, five rounds in here. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can still count. Um, I have 25 rounds, and that's all. That's all I get. And the, the, the basic rules are you cannot stop to shoot and you have to hit all the targets you don't have to hit them more than once you got to hit all the targets so from the time you start you're going to be walking you don't have to be running we're not going to be running and just being stupid you're going to start walking and you're going to shoot each target now you don't have to be at the target to shoot the next one so i don't shoot this first blue target walk up to it and then start walking towards the other target and shoot it i can shoot as long as i hit the target directly in front of me i can start walking and transition um towards the next target and if i hit that one i just go ahead and start walking and transitioning towards the next one so ideally you you, you the way you get better at this is like from here to the first target it's only like 20 yards and once i back up it's 25 yards once i start moving that's my closest target 25 yards if i hit that right away and transition to the target to the left well that's going to be at about 30 yards give or take and i keep moving towards it you see what I'm saying? It's kind of a, it, you're pushing yourself to, if you can hit that target, okay, well then you better transition to the other one and it's gonna be further away. You're closing the distance. I think you know what I'm trying to say. So basically this whole drill, it, it's moving and shooting and then pushing yourself to shoot further. And as you continue to walk, if you continue to miss, you close that distance, you get closer and you hit your target. That's the idea by the way, all right? So we're gonna try it. Like I said, we got 25 rounds. Do your mag changes, do be safe, do all that kind of, take precautions and all this kind of stuff. So let's try it.
All right, so same thing. We got 25 rounds overall. We're gonna run it again. And as you saw from the first time, I'm not trying to run from target to target. And I was missing a lot because I'm trying to push myself. So I'm not gonna wait till I get three feet from it to shoot it. I'm gonna shoot it when I'm comfortable and I think that I can hit it, I'll pull the trigger. That's how it works. You gotta push yourself to your abilities. You gotta train to your abilities. What's the one on, what is it? You have to train beyond your abilities so that you can operate within your abilities. There you go. That, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know where I heard that. I probably made it up. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Here we go. Starting at the 25 and we're walking. There you go, that was actually pretty sad. I shot all, I shot all but two rounds. <laughs> that is really sad. But it goes to show you, I mean, it's, it's all your training to push yourself, okay? You're practicing, all right? If I just sat here and put my gun on a lead sled and shot 7,000 five shot groups and they're all within a quarter, well, that's great. And if ever I am in a situation where I have a lead sled and there's a guy at 100 yards, and I have my rifle that I've been working with, and I happen to be there at the exact time, and I have that lead sled, I could put a bullet right through his eye. You know, I could shoot the barrel off of his gun, but in reality, that's never gonna happen, all right? So, sighting in, doing all your work, all, all, all the work that you do, like on the bench and stuff, that, that's good fundamentals, getting your trigger pulled down, focusing on front sight, all that stuff's very important. This is where it brings it to another level um, to where you push yourself past that, okay? Now that, you're, now that you are able to hit those bullseyes and to do that stuff, now you gotta push yourself a little bit more. That's why I got all this extra stuff. That's why I started training with a little bit more because, okay, yeah, I can hit the target, okay? But that's not the point. The point is to be able to hit it in a practical situation to where you are moving, whatever, what, for whatever reason that might be, you might have to be moving and shooting. And as you saw, a lot of those, I had to get within like, 10 yards, really close, but the more you practice, the better you get. Ultimately, it would be amazing to be able to be finished with the drill by the time I reach 50 yards. That, that would mean that I, that I would be able to be hitting, you know, whatever that is, a quarter size, third size silhouette at 50 yards while moving. That's pretty good. To me, that's pretty good. Ultimately, I think that would be really cool for you there. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, if you have a range that you can go out and do this kind of stuff, because a lot of ranges you can't. They're not active ranges, whatever you want to call it. Um, not private ranges. If you have the ability to go out and do stuff like this, do it. All right, be safe about doing it, okay? Um, nobody needs to get hurt out there by training and hurting themselves. That's not fun, right? But train and push yourself a little bit. I mean, a little bit. And as you get comfortable with that and as you get proficient with that, push yourself a little bit more um, and just keep yourself just that much sharper, that much better. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this. I appreciate you all watching. Appreciate you subscribing. We'll catch you in the next video.